This is the iPhone 5S. It's the most forward-thinking smartphone in the world. It's packed with advanced technologies, uh, engineered into a beautifully crafted thin and light metal design. I'm going to show you quickly some iSight camera features. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, burst mode. So burst mode is great for when you're taking photographs of maybe an action sequence or a group of people uh, who are all looking in different directions. So uh, let me go into uh, the photo mode first of all. And if I hold down the shutter icon, it will continuously capture hundreds of photos at 10 frames per second. So you can see I've captured loads there. And the real-time digital analysis will look at those photographs. It will look for things like the sharpest pictures, photographs in which people are smiling or not blinking or you know, turn towards the camera. And it will give me a list of favourites. And I can choose which one of those favourites I want to select rather than having to select all the photos that I've taken in verse mode. Of course, alternatively, if I'm not happy with them, I can delete them as well. Now I'm going to show you slow-mo. So slow-mo is a video feature within the camera app. It allows you to take video at 120 frames per second at 720p. And once you've captured that video, you can um, edit which parts of the video you want to have in slow-mo. So here, for example, I've got quite a long sequence in slow-mo. I'm actually going to trim it down a little bit and try and get it just before the guy lands in the water. So it will go normal speed into slow-mo and then back into normal speed exactly as I have asked it to. So here he goes in slow-mo and then just as he goes in the water he goes back to normal speed. So it's a really simple and easy way of creating slow-mo video effects. The last thing I'm going to show you is Touch ID. So Touch ID um, is a great way of unlocking your phone. You know if you have a secure phone and you have a passcode you're going to have to unlock it dozens of times a day. It's a great way of using your fingerprint to uh, unlock your phone using the home button which has a new fingertip uh, fingerprint sensor in here. It's crammed with lots of advanced technologies um, and it's also 360 degree readable so you can, you can uh, rotate your finger. It will unlock the phone but it will also allow you to approve purchases on the iTunes store, the App Store and the iBook Store. So let me show you how it works. If I lock this phone and I try and use my thumb to open it, it will say try again because I haven't registered that thing. If I use my index finger, however, just hold it against that sensor and it will unlock the phone. It's very simple to enroll new fingerprints. I just go into settings. I have obviously for security reasons to input my passcode. I can then take my thumb and I can tap it on this sensor. It's gathering data as you can see. More and more data is being populated. It gives you a nice image of how well you're doing with your fingertip sensor and it will also ask you to adjust your grip now it's trying to capture more data but also at different angles because it wants to be able to make sure that when you casually touch that button rather than touching it flush on it's also able to recognize your fingerprint